the most dynamic off the wall sports podcast you've ever heard broadcasting to you live on youtube and facebook and streamed on all streaming services it's down. Oh, oh my god absolutely incredible this isn't your granddaddy's golf network Every sport, unfiltered, unfiltered, interactive, and just to the point. Hosted by Sean and John. So buckle up and hold on to your fitted hats or snapbacks because we're going to take you for a ride. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. You're listening to No Bullshit Sports Podcast. For the fans, by the fans, none of the bullshit. Here's the pitch. Bullshitters! We are back and we are live once again. I'm here with uh, my very delayed, my very delayed co-host, John. With this bougie internet. Wait about five seconds. He'll respond. Yeah. Just give me a second. Oh, it's getting better. All right. All right, guys. Jam-packed show. We have four big topics we want to talk about in tonight's live show. Wait, wait, wait. You asked. We answered. He's back. King of the swag. The voice of the swag. My man, Scotty, from off script. What is up, Scotty? What is going on, guys? What is going on? How y'all doing? How y'all living? Boom. That's how I you like, do it right there. That, hey, that's how you do it right there. Hey, hey listen, when you have celebrities on the show, you got to give the best of the best. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm just saying. It's like, picking out, it's like picking out all the brown M&Ms out of the bowl before you get there. That's what it's like. I feel you. I feel you, but I'm more of a Skittle man myself. You know, blue pack, purple pack. You know how I do. In case y'all have been following Scotty's channel, he's been all over the place. Uh, you know, listen, don't tell this man what an apology won't do. <laughs> I'm telling you. It went from going off on Dion to apologize to Dion to meeting Dion, meeting Tyron Matthews, getting all these celebrities on here. Listen, man, he's out here doing his thing. Glad to have you back, Scotty. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate all, you guys. Look, all hail. You guys, you guys were bringing me on when nobody even knew who all script was, so I appreciate it. So I always make time for you guys, especially, especially for my main man, Sean. I don't know about John. John, you got the <laughs> yeah. weird jerseys up there. I don't know, whatever. Uh, hey, people, people, the new logo for a change here. I do like it. Is that pride? That's for pride. Yes, sir. I yep. like that. I like that. You trying to tell us something? Oh, no, absolutely not. <laughs> I'm just saying that, look, listen. Look, here at No Bullshit Sports Podcast, we don't, we don't discriminate. We don't care if you're orange or with green hair like a Noompa Loompa. We don't care. I got you. I just, I just asked if you was trying to tell us something, but I get Shit. it. I get no, it. no, no. <laughs> I'm married. I got four kids. I'm good. <laughs> I feel you. All right. Let's get into some of this here. Um, our first topic is uh, Shikari Richardson. So I just saw on on uh, Instagram that it was breaking news uh, that the United States – of the America has uh track and field has left her off the roster. So she's officially not going to be in the Olympics in 2021 asterisk. So I'll start off with my thoughts. My thoughts is I think it's incredible bullshit for one. It let she smoked marijuana after she found out that her mom died, cut her some slack like for real. Why are we making a big deal of it? I understand that sometimes the Olympic goes off a federal law, but 
it doesn't matter because the whole United States, state by state, you know, is going down. Virginia just legalized smoking. Uh, Maryland's legalized. Uh, California, Colorado, Oregon, where she, or I believe is Oregon, where she popped hot, where she actually smoked legally. So, I mean, I don't understand it. Thoughts? So, I, I have this to say, too. And according to the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency, uh, a prohibited list, you have to meet three criteria. It's you have to meet, it has to be a health risk to the athlete. It has to have the potential to enhance the athlete or it violates the spirit of the sport. Now, does marijuana sound like any of those three things? Not really. I mean, listen, you're not going to like my opinion. I don't feel sorry for Sakari Rusin at all. Um, first of all, it's not the U.S. anti-doping. It's the, inter it's the International Olympic Committee who makes the rules to be a part of the Olympics. Now, I would agree with you if it was a U.S. thing. If it was just a strictly a world champ, a U.S. championship, U.S. trials or U.S. finals, I would 100% agree with you. But this is an international organization committee. So that means you talk about countries that never agree on anything actually came together and agreed that this was a rule that you can't break. Because so, they didn't, let me tell you, because they, because they, they, they didn't, they agreed on this because they didn't want this black queen to come up on this international stage and whoop some candy ass in this race. Bro. Not only that, it's the USATF does can does have a say, and they had a say, and they left her off the roster because if they put her on the roster, then it would be for the Olympic Committee to say she can't rest. Yeah, say that again. Did the four by one relay, but mm -hmm. once again, I do not feel sorry for you because at the end of the day, okay, Sean, good example, right? We could be stationed in Oregon, we could be stationed in Colorado, but. As a military member, can you smoke? Nope. No. That is, I a, see, I, that is a corporation within society. So, yeah, society, certain societies, you can work at freaking a law office, and they tell you if you piss hot, we can fire you. It's the same thing. Yes, what you do in your own time is what you do in your own time. But when you're coming into somebody, that's like me coming into your home and, and messing up your dishes and be like, well, I can because... You know, somebody on the other, that, that, that doesn't go in this house. You see what I'm saying? So when you come to this, you try to do what we're doing. We try to come to the Olympics. These are the rules. You knew the rules. You said you knew the rules. So we can't change the rules just because you got, you know, you, listen, I, I, I haven't lost my mama, so I can't tell you what I would go through and what that would make me do. But at the same time, if I go rob a bank, should I be, should I be like, oh, no, man, you know, his mama just died, you know, just let him keep the millions of dollars. He's, you see what I'm saying? like, no, Yeah, I see what you're saying there. But my, what, my thing is what I'm getting at is like the whole thing about the Olympics is they don't want uh, they don't want people to do performance enhancing stuff. The thing about the military thing, why there is no uh, you can't smoke weed in the military is because, you know, you don't want to you don't want somebody high going into war. You don't know what. The, you, I mean, there's you don't really know. There's not enough study there, but there's no, there's nothing there to say well, like that the weed that smoking weed would enhance her performance for the Olympics. And there's nothing that said that it won't. It's nothing to say that she couldn't injure somebody else by being high. There's you see what I'm saying? Like you don't know she could she could she could she could smoke before a race. She could go uh, like some. Let's be honest. Some people when they smoke, me, I smoke. It's not in the best situation. My mind starts racing. I start seeing stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you were in some. You're you're on some weird shit. You're on you that Smurf shit. Like, things happen. You know, you can get stuck. Everybody understands that. You've been stuck. If you ever smoke weed, sometimes you get stuck. So she can still be in the blocks right now if she would. You see what I'm saying? You just don't know. You just don't know. So with that, I listen. Do, did I want to see Shakari? Shakari? Hell yeah, I wanted to see her smoke all the bamas in the Olympics. But mm -hmm. once again, rules are rules. It don't matter if you work for a law office, don't matter if you work for a doctor's office. If they tell you, like, 
this is what these are the rules no matter if you agree with them or not if you want to be a part of what they're doing you got to follow the rules and that's just what it is yeah i mean i get you there um i mean it, it makes sense of why she's left off the roster but i feel like there needs to be some kind of change made it's becoming legal in america it's becoming you know like it's it, it's it's a freaking plant like it's a it's a plant no it's, and I know, agree, it's, listen, it's legal in other countries too you. it's not it just was, america i agree with you if it was not the olympics and people were making a big uproar about why is this drug still banned and they wanted the the olympic committee to reconsider cool but she already got busted she already messed up yeah all right so we put up a comment from uh ruby chanel one of our bullshitters you aren't smoking weed then my friend someone spiked your shit all right no matter what it is, <laughs> what I'm you is <laughs> things happen done deal <laughs> right all right all right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and forward up a little bit. We're gonna hit up this NBA finals matchup. I know Scotty, you're going live on your channel, but oh also if 8 p.m. if you want to head over to Scotty's channel, he's doing a uh, cash app giveaway. Uh, fifty dollars. Fifty bucks cash app you gotta on guess his lot. The game, and you gotta guess the score. Of uh, tonight's game? Yep. Bet. Mm. And you gotta call in. You gotta call in. You can't. No, you gotta call in. Mm. I put in Andy. I can't do it right now. Huh? No, you gotta I call in now. You gotta, no, you gotta call, call in. in. To the oh. Show. oh, okay, okay. All right. Boom. Anyway. All right. So NBA Finals starts tonight, 9 p.m. Listen, if Giannis was 100 percent healthy. I would be like, okay, you know, I'll give a little bit of leeway to the Bucks, but he's not. I don't even know if he's upgraded to questionable right now. But I don't think he like if he plays, he's not going to be a hundred percent. He's not going to be that. You know, obviously he's Giannis. He's going to make plays, right? Mm -hmm. But he's not going to be that dominant factor. So, uh, I'm I'm giving the edge tonight to the Suns. To be honest with you, uh, who's to say that Giannis? Go ahead, Scotty. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, so uh, for me, I don't care if Giannis was a thousand percent; he wouldn't beat the Suns. That's about. I mean, that's just, they just have too much firepower. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't. <clears throat> I think Chris Paul and Devin Booker. I really think Chris Paul, being the general that he is on the floor, is going to find a way and motivate his team to eliminate Giannis. All right, that's that's number one. Who on the Bucks is going to guard Devin Booker? Who on the Bucks is going to stop Chris Paul? I'm going to leave you with this note. I'm just, I'm just going to play devil, devil's advocate. I'm going to say Drew Holiday. I'm going to leave you with this note right here. Think about this. Let this simmer. Let this marinate. Put it in the fridge. Put it in a buck bag. Put it in the fridge. Let this marinate. If Trey Young doesn't get injured in game six, it'll be the Suns and the Hawks right now. Mm. I can agree with you. I can agree with you on that. Mm. I agree with mm. you on that. I don't. But you still, but you st to me, you still got to, you can't let Chris Middleton, you know, pretty much knock you. I mean, you let Brooke Lopez and Chris Middleton pretty much send you home. Yeah, true. You know what I'm saying? Has so, had a career game against you, bro. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Career. So then again, <laughs> but then again, the Hawks bench isn't really all that either. So I mean, it's not got, terrible, but it's not like you got best. Pepper Lou. You know, uh, what, what else you got coming off the bench? I don't know. I just think I got Lou and Pepper Lou. Yeah. I mean, Kevin Hurd, I think, was coming off the bench until he they put him in the starting lineup. I think I'm not sure I'm not for sure on that one. But uh for the for the game though, I I, I have one, I have the Suns and I said the Suns in six. Yeah, I got the Suns in six. And 
Mm-hmm. I just don't think, man, listen, Chris Paul has been waiting for this moment his entire life. Other, if, Listen, the only way the Suns lose this game is if Chris Paul does what Chris Paul does and gets hurt. Like that's. The, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that is a very valid point. If Chris Paul does what Chris <laughs> Paul does and gets hurt, this is over. It's out. It's over. It's over. So, so sports books right now is giving him the edge to win the Finals MVP. I would give it to Booker because I think Booker's going to average too. thirty-five easily. I think he's going to average thirty to thirty-five. I think the only reason you give it to Chris is because it's Chris. Right. Like, no, it's like giving it to LeBron because it's LeBron. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's it, it it's like a give me. Like, and I and honestly, I don't even think Devin Booker would be mad that he didn't get it because you know him having Chris Paul. This team has boosted their status to be in this position because when he was doing it by himself. Oh, they were not here. They Listen, were the worst. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't give a shit either if I won the ring. I'll be sitting there. Yeah, you know I'm saying so. And you got and you and you and no, he's young. I'm not saying that they're gonna come back winning back to back, but I'm just saying this is the perfect opportunity. He's young, you know. I I think it's gonna be a special run. I think this is a special run, and I don't see it, I don't see it stopping, I don't see the buck stopping him. And plus, listen, I don't trust Coach Bootenhoser either. He is good for giving a game away. Good for it. Well, hell yeah. I'm- so that's my that's just my two cents. I'm going to stick with my guns. I'm going to say, listen, Bucks don't even belong here. It should have been the Hawks. So I'm going, uh, I'm, you know what? I'm just going to go on a stab and say Suns in five. Mm, what you got, John? You, you, feel, you, look, like, you look like a Bucks. I, you look like a Bucks fan. Over here. <coughs> I'm going Bucks in seven. Yeah, you look like a Buck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know. Piss him. Piss him. Piss him now. <laughs> He's on performance enhancers. I, Piss him. I got into Sean Stash. And Dang. now he wants me to make life decisions and, you know, put mortgages on bets for the Bucks and stuff like that. It's just terrible shit going on. Okay. All right. Uh, as we're getting ready to move on to this next topic. Scotty, go ahead. Give your shout-outs, brother. I know you got to get ready, prepared for your live. Make sure all your stuff's good to go. Um, you got your call line working? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it, got it up and running. Got it up and running. We good, we good to go. I gotta use my girl's phone no more. Uh, but yo, real talk. <laughs> shout, out to you. shout out to y'all guys, man. Appreciate you for bringing me on. Appreciate you signing for the banner. I like that. That's pretty fire. Hey, shout out to all the bullshitters out there who are watching my man. Keep it up. Keep grinding. Keep doing your thing. And uh, God bless, man. That's it. All right, man. Hey, head over to at 8 p.m. Scotty's channel off script to win yourself some 50 bucks. I might be there. I might even call in. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. First come, first serve. You get the right score. You're good to go. I'll be there. I might. I'm there. All right, brother. That was my man Scotty, bro. He's doing huge fucking things out there, bro. Like huge Big thing. Shit. He's got shit that even hasn't come up yet that you know we discussed. And I'm gonna keep it on a little hush hush because he told me to. But you ain't gonna want to miss it. Subscribe to that channel right now. But listen, he's he's doing big things. All right. All right. Let's keep this moving, rolling on. Uh Let's just go ahead and get with the NHL yes. Stanley Cup finals. Can I, can I take I'll, this? Take this first one. I'm going to delay his shit, and I don't give a shit because I have to say this. So the mayor of Tampa Bay decided to open his mouth yesterday and say that Tampa Bay should throw this game so they could win the championship in Tampa Bay. Well, 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 fucking well. Guess what happened last night? The Canadians miraculously just pulled fucking through in overtime and won by a goal. So now it goes back to Tampa Bay. Yep, I heard that. Shit. So here's my two cents on it. One, why the fuck are you coming out here and be like, oh, uh, you should throw the game so we can win it here in Tampa Bay. I don't give a shit. If you have the chance to close out the series, close it out. I don't care if it's in I don't care if it's in Montreal. I don't care if it's bumpfuck Egypt. Close it out. 
you're going to have a fucking parade anyway in Tampa Bay. So what Thank does you. it matter? What does it matter? All right. So th- this is what's going to happen. Hear me out. This is what's going to happen. You know the Canadians and the coaches on the Canadian squad has this information. Mm-hmm. They're going to come out. They have game five tomorrow in Tampa Bay. Tampa fans are going to be rocking. The you know the bench is going to be rocking. But the Canadians are going to be like, all right. They're going to come out there. They're going to be more focused. They're going to be more focused. And they're going to take it into seven. You mm-hmm. know what's going to happen? You know what's going to happen? Are you calling a Canadians win right now? I'm calling an 05 Red Sox style Canadians oh, win. Oh my goodness. That's what I'm calling. Just because I fucking hate the lightning, I hope it happens, but Well, first off, you have to uh shut down Kucherov. Right. Motherfucker's on fire the series, but I'm telling you what though, like it's complete horseshit. You know, my thing is you have this series. I don't care. I much rather sweep a team. I don't care where I'm at and win the Stanley Cup finals than fucking to be like, oh, well, we wanted our home court. Who cares? Who cares? So before we move on, I'd love to make a joke right here and it's morbid as shit, but I hope they don't blow up like that Columbus goalie. Was that too soon? Was that too soon? Okay. Well, you're not saying anything, so that's uncomfortable. <laughs> On to the next subject. <laughs> uh, you were alone there, my friend. I feel you. I knew I would be. I had a feeling. All right. On the last part we have here, College World Series, Vanderbilt versus Mississippi State. It looked like early that Vanderbilt was going to take the series. However, coming back strong was Mississippi State. And for the first time in 126 years, Mississippi State has won the college national championship. We were talking about this before we went on. And I said, I don't know. Like, I think I'd be more happy that Mississippi State won it because that's like an ending a drought more than Vanderbilt winning it and becoming a powerhouse, being known as a powerhouse. As uh, Scotty would say powerhouse um i think i think my I think thing was better for the sport man it it, it is because it, it shows that you know regardless how long you've been waiting it's like almost like when the cubs won the world series what was it 18 mm-hmm. um you know it, it, it's it's the same thing like you waited 126 years like the last like the person who last saw mississippi state won a national championship is not alive like I think this is their this is their first one, right? I don't think they've won one. I think they've been in existence 126 years. Wait, hold on. I'm a fact check. You know, go keep talking. I'm a fact check that. Yeah, because from what I know, but like I said, it's way better for the sport for Mississippi State to have knocked off Vanderbilt than for Vanderbilt everybody be like, oh yay, Vanderbilt again. Because that's how sports get boring, I think. It's like that NFL, bro. Yeah, like that's... The Patriots were just kept going and going and going. You're just like, oh, great. It's this Super Bowl again. Okay, <laughs> they're in the Super Bowl again. So, <laughs> you were right. You were totally on to something. Uh, Mississippi State has appeared in the College World Series 12 times, winning their first national championship in their most recent appearance in 2021. So, they've been around for 126 years. Like, so not even so that that blows out like nobody in in the history has seen this moment, right? But the people here in 2021, bro, right. it's about to go off in Mississippi. Yeah, you know what? Congratulations. All right, bullshitters, it's your time. What you want? You any anybody got any questions for us before we get off of here? Once going once, listen, listen, this is not temporary. We're gonna be back. Uh, I think we're gonna shoot for every single Tuesday. Uh, well, probably the our time slot will be at 8 p.m. as uh, 7 p.m. can be a little too early, especially when you have kiddos like myself. 
that can't wipe their own ass, as uh, Big Daddy would say. Mm. I can wipe my own ass. Mm-hmm. So, dude, honestly, going back to the NBA stuff, there is like, uh, they're really going to wait until the game time, aren't they, for Giannis? Oh, hell yeah, dude. And who's, like I was saying, but I don't think that it was picking up, but who's to say that Giannis is not 100%? What if he's been 100% and they knew that they were going to beat Atlanta anyway? Wouldn't you rather uh, rest rest Giannis knowing that you're going to win? I mean, that makes sense. I mean, he has been getting around the clock care. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, shit. Y'all still owe me a race. Oh, shit. We do. Uh, and I've been training, so <laughs> I'm full of that smoke. That was to you, bro. Oh, okay. Yep. Well, okay. Um, you know, do you think I'm that stupid to flick Ruby off? I think that uh, we should set this up immediately. As well, quick listen, as we can. we're, we're going to set this up off air. And then we're going to come back on with an actual date, an actual time, and set up a whole event. We're going to be there. Might but, even sell, like, uh, hot dogs and shit. You know, make it a whole shebanga dang. So the hot dogs that I'd be selling, I'd, they would be gone because I would have eaten them already. Before the race? Uh, What else would I do? After the race. <laughs> During the race, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm like a diesel engine, bro. The, I'm sorry, not diesel engine, but uh, um, God, what is the old trains, coal trains, whatever they yeah. are, with the coal engines? That's yeah. me. The hot dogs are gonna be the coal. <laughs> yeah, right. That's you. You're gonna be home when there's <laughs> there's Ruby and you're home. And then you're gonna be back there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> is that, is that, is that God? Is it yeah. you? Bro, I will never forget the time, though, when I was running a PT test. Uh, I, this is probably one of my most weakest moments running ever. I was running, I was at the last lap of the two mile, right? So we're running on a track, the quarter mile track. So you have to run the lap, uh, eight laps. After lap like three, it's boring as fuck. You keep seeing the same scenery, and you just want to sit die, sit down, sit down and die and quit. Mm -hmm. um, it's in the middle of like winter, so my it was like cold as shit. So my lungs were burning on fire when I was breathing, <laughs> and I turned that last uh, last round away, and I was getting ready to right before I hit the straightaway. I felt a lump right here in my chest, and I was like. Ugh. And then I'm like, I fall to my hands and knees, and like I have maybe like 20 seconds to make the final, the you know, to make a passing score. And there I am, fucking throwing up. Everybody, all the NCOs are like, "Get up! You can still make it! Puke as you run!" I'm like, "No, I can't! <laughs> I can't!" <laughs> Listen, but I'm older and I'm wiser, which means ever since then. When I had to throw up, I threw up while I was running. So I'd be running. This happened to me. No shit. We were doing. Uh, it was it was a half mile and a half mile back, which was awesome because you only get to see the same scenery twice. So you get down there and on the way back, like. So I think I got down to the half mile uh, mark, uh, like seven minutes and thirty seconds. I was like, "Bitch, I'm flying." On the way back, I'm just like. Oh God, this sucks. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> Fast forward a quarter mile. So I have a quarter mile left. And again, halfway through that quarter mile, and I'm just like, oh, oh God, here we go. Here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm just like, <laughs> like throwing up on myself, like coming down on my PTs and I was running. I'm like, Aah. and then it is like, and I get to when I get to the finish line, I almost damn near jump across the finish line. Fall to my hands and knees, and I'm just like, uh, water, water. <laughs> I douse myself in fucking water. 
keep in mind this was in Florida and it's in it's like at six o'clock in the morning, it is still hot as fuck in Florida. Yeah. So but that's all I got. That's all the story time I got for that. that I'll bring more story time. On. Yeah, we should have story time at the end of episodes now. That's amazing. So all right, bullshitters. With that, we'll get back to you on this race date, even though we we're supposed to have been done already. But you know. Fat boys matter too. Again, I'm Sean. This is your man, John. If you ever want to be on the show, you know how to reach us. Link down below. Check the description, which I will add and edit later to include all of our contact information. Hit us up. Come on the show. Come shoot the shit. It's almost football season. It's almost fantasy season. We are going to be your one-stop shop for all the goodies. You want to be here. You got anything else, John? Uh, yeah. Also, we're gonna be doing some kick-ass shit coming up as well on top of the live. So it's just Ooh. nonstop fucking content all the goddamn time. You can't get rid of us. We're like AIDS. Oh, is that like right, that. Magic Johnson? I like that. We should. Oh. We should. We should put that on a T-shirt. No bullshit we're, sports podcast. We're, we're like, like AIDS. AIDS. We'll we're never go going. away. <laughs> Oh my god. Like, comment, subscribe. You know what the work. Is. Give that goddamn thumbs up. <laughs> Hit the notification bell so you never miss a live. You know what? Some days we might get a hot topic and just on the spur of the moment, just go live just to talk about the topic. Because also, you want to come here instead of them fucking cookie cutter goddamn repetitive networks listen. like ESPN and CBS fucking sports network. I'm I'm trying to I'm in the market to buy a piece of equipment that will help us add in a call line. If you want to see a call line in our lives, check it out. Uh, hit us up, you know, in our DMs. We'll give you a cash app, you know, donate to the show so that way we can buy what we're looking at is a Roadcaster Pro. Um, that way we can hook up a phone to it, have sound effect buttons. Listen, uh, we have it all planned out. You don't want to miss it. You want to be a part of the action. You want to be a part of the growth. We're going to be here. We're not going nowhere like AIDS. Right, Magic Johnson? <laughs> old. I'm John. This is Sean. We're getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> Thank you for listening and shooting the shit with No Bullshit Sports Podcast. For the fans, by the fans, none of the bullshit. If you'd like to be on the show, be sure to email us at nobullsportspodcast at gmail.com. Remember to follow us on all social media and streaming platforms. Twitter at no BS Sportscast, Instagram at no BS Sports Podcast, Facebook, no BS Sports Podcast, YouTube, no bullshit sports podcast. While you're there, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified when it's time to shoot the shit. Give us a follow on Spotify, Apple Music, and Amazon Music.